Hi, Hybrid here. I want to do something a little different today, besides the normal gaming videos. So, I decided to do, uh, or at least start, a new little series about fitness myths. Um, now, these are based on questions that I usually get asked in my normal job of being a personal trainer. Um, and today, we're going to be talking about uh, spot reduction. So, this is something that I get asked fairly often. They don't come out and say spot reduction. Not many people use that term. But, uh, it's questions like, what machine is good for helping get rid of my ab fat or stomach fat? Um, some people say, well, how can I get rid of my leg fat or hip fat? And some people want to get rid of fat in their arms. So whatever the case may be, people are always asking for that one thing that they can do or one machine that they can do. Um, and unfortunately, the body just doesn't work that way. So spot reduction in, in a definition is being able to target a specific point of the body, a specific area of the body, and reduce fat just in that one spot. Um, but unfortunately, that's not how it works. So, but that's something that advertisers, people trying to sell you something, want you to think so that they can get you to buy the product. Um, so if we are gonna reduce fat, it's gonna be all over the body. You don't get to choose what area of the body uh, fat gets burnt from. So the best way and the safest way that I can say to reduce fat, uh, whether it be in the stomach, hips, arms, you know, wherever it happens to be, is to, uh, first of all, you want to have a good diet. Um, people don't want to hear that, but that's what I got to tell them because I'm trying to be honest. So a good diet is crucial, especially, you know, lowering sometimes carbs, fats, uh, if we're trying to reduce that fat intake. And the second thing is going to be exercise. So we want to get proper physical activity, not only just in a day, but throughout the week, throughout the month, because um, it is a continual process. And that kind of ties into the last thing, and that's something that people don't talk about very much, but it's something that I try to enforce um, and apply to, to anyone I work with, and that's time. Because things take time. The body will react to what you're doing to it. It will reduce fat um, if you're taking those proper precautions safely, but to do it safely takes time, and that's okay. Um, you just have to be patient. So learning to be patient is one of the hardest things to do uh, when you're in the fitness world, working out, um, trying to lose fat, anything like that. Those things take time, uh, especially if you're trying to do it the right way, the safe way. So I hope some of that helped. I'm trying to make these kind of quick and concise videos. Um, and if there's any other topics that anyone wants to hear about, feel free to let me know. Just leave a comment. Um, if there's any other questions that I maybe didn't go over that you might have had, again, feel free to let me know. And I don't know how often I'll be doing these, so we'll see um, what the future holds. But I want to do one fairly often, not maybe once a week, but we'll see. I can't, um, can't keep to that or promise to that. But yeah, I hope if this video was entertaining or helpful in any way, uh, please comment, subscribe, do whatever you can. I'd like to keep doing these. And yeah, thanks for watching.